What's up guys, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to hold a handstand longer. Now whether you can hold a handstand right now or not, what I'm gonna show you today will drastically improve your handstand progress. All the techniques that I'm gonna show you today can be done against the wall for assistance or can be done freestanding if you're at that level. And if you're currently struggling with how to hold a handstand, go ahead and watch my video, How to Handstand Hold, Five Easy Steps. That's gonna get you holding your handstand right away and will prepare you for this video. Now first off, one of the main things that people struggle with is to maintain a hold in a handstand position for time. And what most people end up doing is tensing up and squeezing tighter, causing them to fatigue quicker and even falling back down faster. And if you're straining too hard or fatiguing very fast to maintain your handstand position, in most cases it's most likely your body alignment. If your body is bent while trying to maintain a handstand position, it's going to put a lot more pressure on your back and your wrist requiring a lot more effort, a lot more strength. And with half of your body leaning over from a straight line, that's going to create more resistance for your body to fight back, automatically making a handstand hold way more difficult to maintain versus having a stacked position. When your body is in a straight line completely stacked onto itself, there's a lot less resistance trying to push you back and forth, which means less effort to maintain your handstand and you can focus more on balance. Now there's a very big difference on how they feel when you're holding these two different types of handstands. When you're in a bent handstand position, your body's going to feel very heavy versus when you're in a straight stacked position, your body's going to feel very light, almost weightless, and it's going to be very easy to find an equilibrium point where you're just using micro movements to maintain your hold. Now the first thing you want to do to make sure you're holding a stacked position in your handstand is to envision your body as a stack of books. Starting from your base, your hands, then to your shoulders, to your hips, and finally to your toes. You want to make sure that all these limbs are always stacked flat evenly on top of each other and you always want to keep them as tight aligned as possible. The less aligned these pieces are, the harder it's going to be to maintain your handstand and the more resistance you're creating to keep your balance as your body is going to want to go one way or the other. Record yourself when you're doing your handstand and visually see dots in these points of your body. Your alignment is always going to be as strong as your base so you always want to make sure to start off right with your hands flat on the ground and your shoulders forward enough that it lines up with your fingertips. That's going to make sure that you have a strong foundation for your handstand and you're not going to have to fight your balance as soon as you go up. So today I created a workout for you guys that's going to have you holding your handstand longer using techniques that are going to help you with your alignment, balance, and strength. All these exercises are going to be done facing the wall but the goal is to use the assistance from the wall less and less. Eventually being able to do all the exercises I'm about to show you without touching the wall at all. So the first exercise we're going to get into is going to be handstand hold facing the wall. Let's get it. When you're doing a handstand facing the wall, the wall is going to make the straight line for you. And the more you hold this against the wall, eventually this is just going to become muscle memory so that when you're doing it even freestanding, you're always going to hold the handstand in the way that you normally train. If you're in a perfect stacked position, pressing your fingers down onto the ground is going to keep you from falling forward and actually going to push your body's weight against the wall. If you release the pressure on your fingertips and you're going to feel your body slowly start to move forward, eventually coming off the wall, being in a freestanding handstand position, but eventually if you don't press your fingertips, you will come come back down. All right, so there we have the handstand facing the wall, and you're gonna need this for every other exercise we're gonna do today. So if you got that down, then you're ready for the next one. We're gonna go handstand facing the wall, alternating toe taps. Let's go for it. Remember, every exercise facing the wall forces you to train your alignment, but this exercise specifically is gonna get you comfortable with moving your lower body while maintaining a freestanding handstand hold. Every time you switch the foot that's assisting to hold your body weight against the wall, you're actually holding a freestanding handstand all by yourself for a moment. Eventually, you're gonna get very comfortable with this, develop more strength and balance, and make those moments last even longer. Now, for this exercise, you can be a little bit more away from the wall. You wanna maintain a straight line in your entire body, except for the leg that's helping with the assistance against the wall. Alright, so there we have the handstand hold facing the wall, alternating toe tap. Moving right into the next exercise, we have handstands open and closed. Let's go for it. Now this exercise is gonna help you to move your lower body while maintaining your handstand hold position. And because of these different hand positions, this is gonna tremendously strengthen your shoulders than just always training your handstand with a normal width, shoulder width apart. And for a moment, as you're transitioning through the different widths, you're actually putting all your body weight on one limb, getting each arm significantly stronger and getting used to holding your entire body weight with one arm alone, making holding a handstand with two arms effortless and eventually transitioning into one arm handstand training. All 
right, moving on to the next exercise, handstand shoulder taps. Now this exercise took my handstands to the next level, and it's also a great exercise to introduce one arm handstand training. We're gonna be putting all our body weight on one arm again, so before you let go to tap your shoulder, make sure that all your body has leaned to one side so that when you let go with the opposing arm, you're not just gonna fall straight down to the ground. And if you transfer all your body weight onto the one side you're gonna hold your body up with, the opposing arm should feel a lot looser and be able to come up and tap your shoulder. And make sure the hand that you're using to hold up your body is very straight in a locked out position and constantly pushing the ground down. All right, let's go for it. So at the beginning, you wanna move all your body weight to one side, tap, come back down. If you're tapping quickly, don't worry about it. Eventually you'll be able to control this movement and go a lot slower. The main key is just to put all the body weight and lean onto one side before you let go. last exercise that I have to show you guys for this routine is going to be staggered handstand holds. As I told you before, all these exercises can be done facing the wall and as you practice them you can use less and less assistance from the wall. Eventually you'll be able to do them freestanding. And that's how I'll be doing it for the final exercise. Now to elevate and stagger my handstand hold, I'm going to be using parallettes. If you want to get a pair of parallettes for yourself as well to take your chain to the next level, you can always pick one up at thenx.com shop. And of course if you don't have any, you can always use a stack of books or whatever you have laying around the house. So with that said, let's get into the final exercise. Now that is a real challenge for your balance. And I highly recommend to first start off just holding a handstand in a staggered position, definitely against the wall first, before switching your grip from the elevated surface. But eventually, you wanna master all these exercises, take them off the wall, and try them in a freestanding position. But don't forget, doing a handstand facing the wall is always gonna put your body in a perfect alignment, which is why you should always be doing handstands facing the wall. Whether you're touching the wall for assistance or not, you wanna always develop that muscle memory to always naturally stay in that stacked position. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. That was actually round one of the workout routine. You guys want to do this at least three more times to complete this workout and to get this workout on your phone, of course, download the Thenx app in the App Store or Google Play Store. And for more workouts just like this, getting in the best shape of your life, make sure you sign up to Thenx.com, become a member and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that are going to have you shredded. And join the millions of other Thenx athletes around the world changing their lives today. And if you guys learned something or enjoyed today's video, then definitely smash that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys are working on, what I should make the next video about. Share this video with a friend that's trying to make progress in their handstand, and of course subscribe if you haven't already. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time, and if you comment within the first 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some free Thenx gear. And if you guys want more of my content during the week, make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel, that's youtube.com slash chrisharia, and make sure you're following me on Instagram, that's chrisharia. And on IG, almost every single post, I always do some type of giveaway, so if you want a chance to be a part of that, make sure you're following. And for everyone that loves the music on this channel, these are all the songs on my new album that I just dropped called Workout Music. It's available on all platforms, SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, even TikTok. For everyone that's planning on shopping for Black Friday, we have huge sales, at least 25% off store-wide, officially starting the day after Thanksgiving. So if you ever wanted a chance to get some gear, that's the time to get it. We only do this 25% off sale once a year, so make sure you guys take advantage of it. And with that said, I'll see you guys next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love, peace out.